Hi everyone, my name is Oswin Stuyvenberg and in this video I would like to show you my most valuable learning moments during my exchange in Madrid. So the first and most prominent encounter that I found here in Madrid is that people like to make statements with flags and they will hang them outside of their apartments so that everyone can see him and everyone can know their political view or what they what they stand for so I will show you flag here you see the red yellow and purple flag which used to be the flag of Spain um, so I'm gonna explain it a little. So right now, Spain is a constitutional monarchy. Before, it used to be a dictatorship and even before that, it used to be a republic. So this flag is from the time that Spain used to be a republic. And the thing is that hanging this flag outside of, of your apartment is kind of like a statement that you're an anti-monarchy. Then the second intercultural encounter, which was very obvious here, is that in class the Spanish students have a very, very obvious um, opinion on international politics. So we were in this class from Derecho Internacional and it was about the enforcement of the Security Council of the United Nations. So the Spanish students already knew everything, they were just like yeah, it's not being enforced enough and they're not doing a good job, they should enforce it more, blah, 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 blah. And even the teacher was agreeing with them. And that was the point when I was thinking, in, in the Netherlands we wouldn't have this, like, we wouldn't have such a strong opinion on such things because we want to see things from every side and we are more neutral in that sense, I think. So in this picture you see me with Marina, my Spanish friend, who I met during my exchange. Uh, she doesn't really speak English, so I needed to speak Spanish that day. And we went on an organized uh, trip to Granada with other people and it was such a good experience, so nice. And it was very good also for my Spanish and to communicate in Spanish. So speaking about these matters, I feel that even though Spain is considered to be more of a high context country, I feel that when it comes to politics, it is a little bit more sensitive. There are more low context on that part of communicating. Um, they really want to voice their opinion. So that's something that stood out. And also their perception of time, their perception of space is totally different from the culture of the Netherlands. Uh, which I would argue that uh, when it comes to time, they have a totally different schedule. They have a warm lunch, they have dinner very late at night, a normal working day would be until 8 p.m., not 6 p.m. like in the Netherlands, so it is kind of adjusted to their, their, food, their food schedule, basically. Another thing when it comes to space, um, Spanish people, they don't really take into account that people some people might want a little bit of space <laughs> they're literally very close people and very warm and being on an exchange i already feel like it is a very big learning moment because you're leaving your house for four months without your family without your pets <laughs> and you're going to be in this whole different culture f for such a long time uh you're gonna be alone you're gonna feel a little bit lonely in the beginning at some point i think um also, all the responsibility is on you. You have to care for yourself. Now, your mom is not doing it, you know?